Hey y'all, it's CC Michelle. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I got this protective style right here. It's a bob butterfly lock, but I'm using a different kind of hair than the typical water wave that you see for butterfly locks. So I really love how it turned out. It's perfect for like the spring summertime. And yeah, I'm just really excited to show you guys. So stay tuned and I'm going to walk you guys through everything. So I'm starting out with freshly blow dried hair and as I part the sections I'm putting a little bit of shine and jam on the roots and just braiding up my hair and I'm going to walk you guys through the parts. So I have two in the back, four in that next section, five in that next section, six in the next row, and then I split the front of my hair into two sections so I have a row of two, a row of three, a row of four and then another row of four at the top and I did the same on the other side I'm not good at math so I don't know how many braids that was but you guys can just kind of judge the size of the parts so this is the hair I use it's from shake and go it's the free tress pre fluffed pop and twist hair I got it in 20 inches in the shade t30 this hair was super easy to work with it was pre separated so that saved me a lot of time and I ended up using two and a half packs and you're also going to need a crochet needle for this style Okay, so now let's get into it. I used about one and a half pieces of hair for each section. This is what one full piece looks like and I ended up cutting some of the pieces in half and fluffing out the ends because I needed that for some of the locks as well. So I'm gonna start by putting the crochet needle above the braid, making sure the hook is open and then taking the curly end of the hair and putting that on the hook. Then I'm gonna close the hook before I pull it through this should ensure that there's no tangling or snagging happening once you pull that crochet needle through. I'm then gonna pull that end through so that there is a short end and a long end. Now I'm gonna fluff out and separate the ends of the hair on both sides. And now we're gonna get into this grip. So I'm gonna split this into two sections. The braid and the short end are gonna be one section and the long end is gonna be the second section. The hand that I'm using to grip the braid and the short section is gonna stay still for the majority of this style. This is my non-dominant hand or my left hand. My dominant hand, which is my right hand, is the one holding the longer end and that's gonna be the one doing most of the work. So I'm gonna start by taking the piece in my dominant hand and wrapping that around the braided end about three times. Now to create the butterfly effect, I'm going to begin to wrap the hair around the thumb of my non-dominant hand. Once I wrap that around my thumb once, I'm going to slide my thumb out and then continue to wrap normally about two more times. So I'm going to wrap twice normally, wrap around my thumb once, and then wrap twice normally, wrap around my thumb once. And I'm just gonna repeat that pattern and it's gonna create that butterfly bubbly effect. This style looks best when the locks are the same length, so I'm going to fold up the end of my braid and just take the rest of that hair and wrap it around the braid so that it stays. That should be what it looks like. So I'm gonna go through and explain it again. I'm taking my crochet hook and pushing it through, taking the curly end and putting it on the open crochet needle, and then I'm making sure that the crochet hook is closed before I pull it through. Tangle free, pull that through so that there's a short end and a long end, and then I'm going to just fluff out those ends. I'm taking my non-dominant hand and grouping the short end with the braided end and then my dominant hand is holding the long end and I'm just going to wrap that strand, that long strand that's in my dominant hand around the base of the braid 
about three times and then I'm going to wrap it around my thumb once, slide my thumb out and then just wrap normally. So I'm wrapping about two times, wrapping around my thumb again, sliding my thumb out and then wrapping around two times again and repeating that pattern until I get to the end. Now remember I said some of the locks I needed a piece and a half of hair and this is one of those so once I come to an end of this strand I'm just going to take that piece that we had cut previously and fluffed out I'm going to take that uh, blunt end and I'm just going to continue it where I was just wrapping so just kind of stick that in and just continue wrapping in the same direction we were wrapping in wrap it around like twice and then we can begin to wrap around our thumb again once we get to the bottom make sure that the length is aligned fold up the end of that braid and then just continue to wrap upward in the same direction I tried to explain this the best I can, but hopefully you guys are seeing what I'm doing. You just want to repeat this process for the rest of the braids and you'll be all done. This is definitely one of those styles that I prefer to look messy, so it doesn't have to be perfect. So that was it, super simple and easy. It honestly did not take me that long to do this style. What really took long was like the parting and the braiding. I had to have uh, one of my friends help me out with that because you know, parting in the back, you know that's a struggle. So after you get the braids in, you can honestly fly through these locks once you get the hang of it. So that's definitely what I love about it. If you guys do end up recreating this style, please let me know, tag me on Instagram, mention me in your stories. Please make sure to let me know if you try this style. I'm going to be linking the hair I used for this tutorial in the description box so make sure to check that out if you want the details on this hair. So yeah that's pretty much it. I'm going to be seeing you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more content and I will be seeing you guys next time. Bye!